what are Syria's intentions as far as the timetable for withdrawal from Lebanon? Our intention is very clear. We want to withdraw from Lebanon as soon as possible. The sooner, the better. But we don't want to do this in a, in a way to create a, a certain vacuum in Lebanon that might be used by any elements that can create some uh, destabilization or some chaos in Lebanon. So we will do this in a, an extremely phased, orderly way, but we will move our troops steadily out of Lebanon. Actually, we have said the following. We said we will withdraw our troops in two phases. The first phase is uh, gather and, and, and withdraw all our troops to the border area between Syria and Lebanon, which is the Bukha Valley. The second phase is start withdrawing immediately once all our troops are there, those troops into Syria. Within the coalition forces, as far as locating Ba'ath officials from... Uh, it, there is a historic opportunity for the United States to stop repeating the Israeli propaganda and spin about Hezbollah and to understand that Hezbollah is a national liberation movement that actually fought the Israelis and kicked them out from Lebanon proper. For, they fought the Israeli occupation. Hezbollah has never ever sent us a, 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 a suicide bomber to go and kill any civilian in Israel itself. They are not a terrorist movement. However, I'm not going to to discuss this. What I'm trying to say is the following. There is a historic opportunity for the United States to engage with Hezbollah and help Hezbollah evolve into a purely political movement so that even their uh, uh, armed wing will, will integrate with the Lebanese army and the whole issue will be resolved constructively for the benefit of Lebanon and the long-term strategic interests of the United States. Other issues based on politics and policies, even when we disagreed with the United States, you, you know this. We have said it publicly and clearly, we will not interfere at all whatsoever in the forthcoming political elections in Lebanon. No, we will, and actually, we said this, and let me say it, one of the mistakes we did in Lebanon, and we have publicly admitted this mistake, is that we made alliances with some parties, and we allowed other parties to become hostile to us. That was our mistake, and we will not repeat this mistake. President Assad has said in his public speech in the Syrian parliament, uh, 10 days ago, that from now on we will develop a policy in Lebanon in which we will have equal proximity to all parties in Lebanon without any single exception. We don't want to have friends and enemies in Do you see any change in the second Bush administration, for example? I would say it's because... Actually, we have done things that are unprecedented in our history to try to secure the Iraqi-Syrian borders. Remember that those are 500 kilometers of desert porous borders. You are the world unique superpower, the greatest nation on earth. And look at the good job you've done on, your, on the Mexican-American borders to stop this. On the other hand, this is what we are doing. If you believe that you can help us to, to, to improve our job on securing these borders, we are willing to engage. We, are, we will welcome any U.S. assistance, military, logistic, intelligence, anything. But this is what we are doing. But most importantly, we are telling you, we are willing even to enhance the quality of our cooperation with you. But, you know, it takes two to tango. We can't do this uh, ourselves, by ourselves, while, we, while you continue comfortably uh, bashing Syria through the media channels. Met with their presence almost like without any single exception.